Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Shangalar. And oh man, I'm looking forward to this. I believe last time I got kicked out of the uh, Red Castle, if I'm not mistaken. Let's open it up so Timmy goes green. So I think I got kicked out of the Red Castle, right? Yeah, now I remember I'm all the way up here in this corner. Like I said last time, I think I'm gonna go for the White Castle because the White Castle is a little bit more easier, uh, you know, to defeat. And I think the Red Wizard is like, it, it comes later in the game. Besides, I'm playing red also, besides my green color, it's my second color. So maybe it's not a good idea to kick out the Red Wizard just yet. Uh, but before I start my campaign, first a message from our sponsor, 3 for one Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and we are back and listen to the beautiful music. I'm ready, I'm ready for it, I'm feeling pumped. Let's have a look, what kind of deck do I have? Oh yeah, I had this green deck. Are there any cards in here that are specific for against a red mage? It's a nice deck, and I also had, I think, a red and a green deck, right? Yeah, so this is red and green. I think I'm gonna play the red and green deck. And we had a third deck. Oh, this deck is fun as well. Lots of big creatures. Lunderer Elves, Untamed Wilds, Ice Storm. You know what, I'm gonna try this. This deck looks like a lot of fun, the mono green deck. Um, no cards I wanna buy here. Let's have a look. So the White Castle's over here. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna walk down, see how it goes. Oh man, did you see that? Like they were all waiting for me. Um, Giant Grove, I get, I, yeah, we can do that. First duel of the day, ah, let's get ready for it. Ooh, that's a good hand. I've got Forest, Winter Blast, I've got a Soul Ring, so I can go for a Soul Ring. Cockatrice, Jam Day Tome, Giant Spider, and a Thicket. So hopefully I'm gonna draw into another forest. Cause then I can draw my, uh, or I can play my uh, giant spider next turn. If I can find, of course, uh, a forest. Let's hope that's gonna be the case. Ooh, an ice, I mean, ice storm is not too bad. I mean, I can slow down my opponent. Again, it would have been just great if I could just find some lands. Hopefully next turn I can find a, a forest. Give me a forest. Mmm, no way. Unfortunate. Oh man, I'm also playing Untamed Wilds in this deck, right? And I'm playing Lana Elves. So I'm feeling very unlucky not hitting any of those cards at this stage. So drain life. Hey, there's a four. You know, complaining helps. I think I'm gonna go for Jam Day Tome. The reason is that if next turn I still don't have a forest, um, I can use my tome to try to get one and kind of get back into this game. I mean, my deck is really mana hungry, so I really need to hit those land drops. Merge Dwellers 2-2, two, two. okay. Uh, yeah, so here we see kind of that scenario unfolding. Question is, do I want to take damage from the Dwellers or do I just want to go Giant Spider so I have a blocker for the Dwellers? I think I'm going to do that. I mean, this was a bit like one of those 50-50 decisions. If I would draw a card, it would basically mean it would take four damage. Oh, a Death Grip. Oh no, that's so bad. Death Grip. So Death Grip can counter my green stuff. Okay, and we've got a Hippie. Okay, at least he's playing out the Hippie. Because now I've got my fifth mana, so I'm gonna go for Cockatrice, I think. 
Yeah, let's go for Cockatrice. Another option could have been to go for Winter Blast. But I'm feeling better with Cockatrice. I think it's such a good blocker. Ah, oh, but that Death Grip. Such a good card against my deck. I do love the idea of playing an Untamed Wilds and um, Ice Storm in the same deck. Okay, another force. Now we're cooking. Uh, oh, and he's tapped out pretty much again, so... I think I'm just first going to attack with the Cockatrice. Okay, taking the damage. I think I'm going to play the Thicket. One, two, three, and two. I mean, I've got the spider to block the hippie. I've got the thicket for the dwellers, so it should be fine. I mean, if it's got like a terror, that would be a problem. We could take care of the spider, hit me for two, I'll lose a card. Bit scorpion, not really an issue. Oh, so this is, I could go for Ice Storm, kind of luring out the Death Grip and then play out a Winter Blast on the Hippie. Um, or I could, I, I guess I just got to go for the Trike. It's going to attack again. I think I'm going to attack with these two. Ooh, he's blocking them. Interesting. Um, so I could save the thicket here. Uh, I could kill. I think I'm gonna do that. One and two. Shouldn't it be dead? Oh, I only did one damage instead of two. Oh, that's stupid. My plan was to deal two damage with the trike, killing the dwellers. That way my uh, thicket would survive. Oh well. It is what it is. El Hajash. Okay, let's go for us. This is really interesting because now I can go Ice Storm. Let's see if he counters that. So he counters that and then I can go giant spider. Um, let's attack with the cockatrice. Let's attack with the giant spider as well. Gag, this is pretty cool. This is what we wanna see because now I can kill this. I don't... Shouldn't the El Hajash be dead? I guess we're playing according to... Yeah, it is dead. Okay, because the idea, right, is before the El Hajash can deal damage, I want to kill it so that my spider, as in this case, only takes three damage, survives, and, you know, that's the big plan. It's nothing fancy. Ooh, not doing anything, okay. Um, I guess the smart thing to do here is just animating this one. Going all out, I think. This is, oh, he's got a block or else he's dead. So that's kind of nice. Oh, wow, I should have moved the damage to, Man, this is what I always need kind of need to warm up in these games because of course I should have moved the tri counter to deal the damage before damage was dealt to my opponent, then I would have won this already. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Playing a little bit sloppy here, but it's early morning here, early days. I'm actually recording this on a Monday. I'm free on a Monday. How lucky am I? So I'm recording this on a Monday morning instead of a Sunday morning. There's the Murk Dwellers. Uh, oh, my screen is a little bit. Sorry, guys. 
My screen is difficult. Let me see if I can change that back to the original screen. I think this is the right. Yeah, okay, we're back. Sorry. Uh, where were we? Okay. Uh, ooh, discard phase. I want to draw a card. Yes, please. The forest, okay. He's played another Merc Dwellers, eh? Um, you know what? I'm going to tap it down with the Winter Blast. This is the thing that sometimes people forget about the Winter Blast. Um, you can also use it to just tap down a creature of your opponent. Which is quite nice. Uh, let's see. Pump and Assembly. I mean, I might as well just attack with everything, but... I'm trying to get full value out of my attack, even though he's on one. There we go, ladies. Hey, won the first battle, despite my sloppy plays. And I've got a Yakmov Demon. That's such a cool creature. Yakmov Demon? I think I've got a play set in my binder. It's another card I still want to build a deck with. Of course, take the cards. Do I want to play the Warlock again? Um... Yeah, why not? It's gonna play you again, Warlock. Why not? Maybe eventually I've beaten the Warlock enough that uh, the Warlock is gonna give me tribute. That would be quite sweet. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Library of Alexandria in my hand. Yeah, so this is pretty simple. Just play the Loa, pass turn. Next turn, go up to seven, draw card number eight. The only thing I don't like about the Library is if you own one, you have to put it in almost every single deck. So you keep like moving it from deck to deck to deck. Like, Loa is one of those cards that I sometimes say, okay, uh, with this deck, I don't want to play with that and that and that card, you know, and Loa is usually one of those cards. I guess you want to see some card diversity, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, going to play a Forest, seven in hand. I guess I'm just going to play the Lanor. Got a lot of mana sources in that hand, by the way. Got three Forests, a Factory, a Spider, and a Soul Ring. Let's draw card number. Wow, a tome. That is awesome. Let's draw another card. Go to eight. Um, I feel like doing factory and then soaring. And just attacking. I'm gonna be patient here, you know. I wanna keep that active lower going. So next turn, draw seven, go eight. Play a land, play the tome, then I'm gonna draw even more cards. Oh, a hippie. That means I need a spider. Luckily for me, I have the spider. Uh, let's do draw a card. Um, let's go forest. You know what? I'm first gonna attack. Maybe he blocks it and I can go giant growth. He does. Oh, that's so funny. Giant growth. Hey, I'm happy with that exchange. Don't want to play out anything else because again, I'm on six, so I want to go to seven again next turn. I was actually expecting him to just take the damage. Uh, okay, let's go Loa. Let's do draw a card. I guess one of the things that I, you know, keep doing a lot in this game is I'm looking at it from a player's perspective instead of thinking, what would the AI do? But I want to keep looking at as if the AI is an actual player, you know? Um, let's see. So we're going to change to assembly worker. Make it into a 2-2. We're going to attack. I mean, this game never was much of a game, right? Because of that turn one library. I know, I know, I know you're not dead yet, Warlock, but I mean, you're on 10. I've got so, so much card advantage. I've got the tone working for me next turn. Ooh, another hippie. Another hippie, eh? Let's go library. Oh, force of nature. I love that. Shall I just go force? I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna go force. I mean, you attack me, take a card out of my hand, I don't mind. 
I want to go for. I know it's the better thing to do is is go giant spider. You know, keep mana open to draw a card from the tome. But come on, we're playing Chandelar. I can play Force of Nature. Come on. If you're not going to do it here, when are you going to do it? Yeah, take a card. It's fine. I do like that combo, Tannis' Wand with the Hypnotic Spectre, by the way. So even if I would have played out the Spider, it could have made it unblockable. And that would have been a cool, uh, you know, a cool move to watch. Our dwellers, yeah, of course I want to pay the upkeep. Pay the upkeep. Okay, um, I'm gonna draw. Oh wow, Winter Blast. That is, that Winter Blast is really good. If that Winter Blast sticks, let's just first attack him with an 8 8 casually. Wow, taking out the Dwellers. He's on 4. <laughs> can smell victory. There's the attack for 2. Fair enough. Losing another card. It's the giant spider. That's not too bad though. I mean, I've got, got enough. I mean, this art by giant spider, right? Away. Why is the spider taking out the drake? The whole idea of the giant spider is that he makes a giant web and you know, the, the giant drake flies into the web. That's the flavor. Anyway, maybe I'm being overly critical when it comes to new art. Um, Yeah, of course I'm going to pay for pay up, keep cost. Mm. Draw for turn. I love, did I put a wooden sphere in there? That's pretty cool. Uh, let's play a card. Um, just let's first attack. I think he's dead already, by the way. Oh, breathing. There's so many cool black cards. Oh, uh, maybe I just gotta make one cool black deck. What do you guys think? Just one cool black deck. Just just because I can. Oh. Uh, I don't wanna duel you, Fungus Master. I wanna change the ante. Okay, duel the Fungus Master. I wanted to look in the shipwreck, check out the village. Okay, Lana Morales, Giant Grove, Forest, Forest, Untamed Wild, Trike, Factory. Okay, I have to say, my deck is looking pretty good. I'm really liking this deck. I can go next turn, Factory, play Untamed wild, Wilds, get another Forest out. The thing is with, with Chandler, I play these decks and I really want to make them and I make them like in real life. I take them to a tournament and I get completely annihilated. But that's okay. Let's get us a forest. Again, I think Untamed Wild, it's just a really good card. I mean, technically it's only two to cast because the land comes into play untapped, so. Anyway, passing the turn. Um, you can almost start playing out the trikes. I mean, I can attack and kill the wall of wood, but it's. I guess I could. I guess I could hit him for one, right? Every damage counts. Here we go. Fifteen. Slow she goes. Ooh, only an oasis. Let's play the trike. Oh no! Power sink! I gotta tap. I cannot tap one. It always feels kind of weird when I see the computer play counter magic because I'm like, isn't counter magic something you see in, in the real world of magic? <laughs> like, what are you doing with that useful card in Chandelar? Power sink, I think, should have been an uncommon. 
Let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, the power to like completely drain your opponent. The problem for me in old school, whoa, Timmy. I gotta, I gotta get my trike resolved to kill that Tim. Gotta kill the Tim to protect my Llanowar. Gotta do it. No! Luckily for me, I can do it again. Damn, that, o that Oasis actually is really better than one m might think. Imagine if Oasis would just also tap for one colorless, just like a Library of Alexandria. I think I would then play Oasis in some of my decks, actually. I mean, how often doesn't it happen when you trade a 4-4 for a 4-4, four, 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 for example? Then the Oasis can make the difference. Wall of Brambles. Hmm, nice to have a library, but it's not really going to help me here. Um, I guess what I could do is attack with everything, assuming that he's going to block because he's the computer. Let's give that a try, because I've got the giant growth, and I can maybe kill that wall of brambles. Yes! Taking the bait. Hey, and you know what? I'm just going to empty my hand with the Loa. Let's pass the turn. Oh, I could have killed the wall with the... Why do I click? Why do I hit that enter button without like assessing the situation? That would have been brilliant, just killing that wall. Unsummon. This is this is okay. Listen up. Let me just teach you something about magic. This is the worst card to unsummon because I can deal one damage to you, and I can recast it again. I feel bad. I actually want the AI to be really, really good. Remember, I'm playing it now on the highest level, so I want to be challenged. Um, okay, let's cast the trike again. Also, he's got no blue mana untapped, so I know that he cannot counter. Change to assembly worker. So we're gonna attack for four. He's probably gonna block the two, two. I'm gonna deal two damage. And I think I'm not gonna kill the wall of wood. Oh no, again that again that oasis. I keep forgetting. I feel like now I've gone all in, so I gotta follow up with the second counter. But if if I if I would have remembered the oasis, I wouldn't have used that one counter of the trike. Oh lordy lordy lordy. Oh, and he's got the oasis untapped, so I cannot kill. Oh, this is a... Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna Ice Storm the Oasis. Be gone with the Oasis. Then I'm gonna kill the Tim. I feel so bad I'm killing Tims the whole day. Oh, I forgot to animate the factory. Stupid. Could have put him on five instead of seven. This mistake is gonna cost me an extra turn at least. No, I'm doing it again. I hope you guys can forgive me. This, this is my second game. I just came back from uh, from my holiday, which was fantastic, in uh, in Taiwan. I posted a video about the cards that I picked up in Taiwan, by the way. Lots of foreign black bordered cards. I just couldn't help myself. Uh, but it was a great trip. Beautiful country. Taipei, that city. It's really cool. Um, lots of good food. Let's animate that factory. Let's finish the job. But my point is I haven't played Chandelar in like three weeks. I'm a little rusty. Hey! I'm just gonna take the cards. I'm kind of in a taking cards kind of mood. Buy cards, land tax. Oh, such a good card. I'm not gonna buy it though. I'm gonna buy the Yoshi. Uh, 
10 food for 15 gold. That's a good deal. Take this message east. The keeper of gold snape. Where gold snape? Glade? Did he say glade or did you say mill? Glade. White amulet. Yes, I need white amulets. So that's over. I was going there anyway, so I'm fine with that. Leave the village. Oh, no, no. Uh, sure, duel the arcade. I guess this is just going to be an episode of me dueling a lot of these dudes and do that. The White Castle will probably have to wait till next time. Uh, Winter Blast and the Hive. Let's see, what's my hand? Untamed Wilds, Wooden Sphere, Forest, Giant Grove, Forest, Trip, my Trike. I love the fact that I've got a turn one Wooden Sphere. I think... I think I only play Wooden Sphere in my unsleeved revised mono green deck. <laughs> Soul Net I play in uh, EDH 93-94 actually. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I've got to think. Um, just a forest. I don't want to strip the planes. That could have been an option, but I want to make sure I keep three lands so I can go Ice Storm and Untamed Wilds and that kind of shenanigans. Another soul map. Okay. So we go strip mine. Um, you know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to go Untamed Wilds. It's too bad I cannot use that one mana for the Wind Sphere to gain life. From my Untamed Wilds. But, but next turn, when I cast my Ice Storm, I can gain a life with my Wind Sphere. The value. Another soul... Do you have anything else in your deck than soul nets? Yeah, I'm gonna use my wooden sphere, tap one, yes. And I'm gonna also use my strip mine. We're gonna attack the mana base, people. Factory. So if I wouldn't have attacked the mana base, I now could have played out the, the trike, I guess. But it was too tempting, you know. Untamed Wilds, Ice Storm, and going for a strip. Ooh, a cockatrice. I'm not going to gain life from my wooden sphere, but I'm still going to cast it. Untamed Wilds. Let's go for it. Let's attack. Mm -hmm. I guess I should have kept my factory untapped that way, so I could have attacked with that as well. This deck is really good. I keep kicking people's asses. Feels good. There's the Onulet. Okay. Let's go Forest. Um... Two, four, six, I've got seven. Let's first just attack and then play trike. Let's go trike. Passes a turn. Trike is so good, such a good creature. Oh no, Wrath of God! Oh no! Uh, I guess I'm just gonna deal some damage. He's going to gain some life from the Onulet. I, I love that combo of like, combo of Wrath of God and Onulet. It's so funny. And of course he plays with Soul Nets. So she, I should say, it's pretty cool. Soul Net and Wrath of God. Now, that is funny. Uh, I'm just going to attack for two, I think. I mean, I want to keep my Desert Twister for when she plays like a Sarah. This is the thing with land destruction, right? I really got her on the back foot, like she was down to like, what, one land? But then if your follow-up is not aggressive enough, your opponent gets to, you know, come back into the game. There's the Osai Vultures. Hmm. No, not get mana. 
Misclicked. Change the assembly worker, I guess. Play the desert. Fast turn. Ah, that's unfortunate. Taking damage. Okay, there's another factory. Let's just not make a mistake this time. Change to assembly worker. Pay the one. Move to here. Bump the other assembly worker. So much clicking involved. Let's attack. But you know, at the end of the day, it's it's damage. It's, that's what counts, I guess. Let's just organize this a little bit better. There you go. Gonna take another attack. Vulture's doing work, putting me on 21. The nice thing about the factories as well is it's really hard to deal with those with a Wrath of God. It's basically impossible. Oh, there's a Sarah Angel. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna see if she bites. I'm gonna attack. Yay, she bites. Let's do giant growth. Pay for wound sphere. I mean, that's the thing with the AI, right? It usually will block. It, it never thinks, oh, maybe there's a combat trick. I shouldn't do it. It always takes the bait. Or almost always, I guess. Anyway, there's the attack. I'm going to drop to 21. She's on 10. Another Sarah Angel. Okay, so now I've got to use my Desert Twister. Uh, I could go on Tamed Wilds, but I think I'd rather just attack, to be honest. Uh, change to Assembly Worker. Make it 2-2. Two -two. Bump Assembly Worker. This art is, by the way, the most expensive art of the uh, Assembly Workers. You've got four for the four seasons. The Winter is the most expensive one. I think I also like the Winter one the most. I think they're all gorgeous, by the way, so... Oh, look at that. The Osai Vultures gaining counters. What can you do again? Remove two counters for plus one plus one until end of turn. Okay. That could be relevant if you want to use them as a blocker for the factories. Another Sarah. Uh-oh. Now I'm getting in trouble. Let me first go Untamed Wilds. Gain a life. And let's go Ice Storm. Gain another life. But this is a this is problematic. I mean, I, I, I felt like I, you know, be destroying two Sarahs, I was kind of safe, I thought, but... Ahem. <sighs> This is going south really fast. Taking five, dropping to 18. And he's got the hive there. Oh man, more forests. This is not good. I've got this use, useless tranquility that, that has been great in other matchups, but in this matchup it's useless. Oh no, he's gonna create wasps and they fly as well. Oh God, I need something big. Okay, I think it is something at least. I mean, at, at least I'm gaining one life from the thicket, go back up to 14. I'm like, I'm on a three turn clock, maybe, if I'm lucky. Oh no, dude. Oh, dude. I'm on 10. I'm so, I was doing great. I was actually getting a little bit cocky, right? Saying, oh, my deck is so good. I'm not gonna lose. I am gonna lose. Uh, ooh, Desert Twister. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not dead yet. Desert Twister. Sarah Angel. 
Pay one for the wooden sphere. Hey! Look at all that life gain. Now I'm gonna attack. This is actually turning into be quite an interesting match because I'm on 11. He's on 10. He's got that the hive token maker. That's gonna be a problem. Okay, he's not blocking. That's something. Uh, I'm a little concerned, to be honest. He's gonna attack me for two. Gonna put me on nine. I think the wooden sphere has actually given me quite a lot of life. No, Sarah Angel, please. A tetra. That's just a, that's just as bad. Oh, to okay, at least a tome is something. Okay, so cast a tome. Draw a card with the tome. Ice Storm. Okay, I'm going to play the Ice Storm. One green and two. Gain a life. I mean, gaining a life is like preventing a damage from the wasps, right? It's It, it buys me a little bit of time. But I think it doesn't change much. I've got two turns. Oh, I'm gonna take six. A tracker. Uh... <sighs> I think I gotta dig deeper. Tracker is not gonna save me. Force of nature is cool, but it's not gonna save me. I mean, I could play tracker and then. Gain a life from the wooden sphere. Then I can play tranquility and gain a life from tranquility. And then I'm gonna die, because I'm on six, and he's got seven flyers on the board. I, I felt like I had full control of this match. Still, I lost. The blue wizard sends a sea dragon. I have to duel the high priest. Is this the moment in like in, in Chandelar where everything goes sour? Like I've had this before. Like I, I win the first couple of matches feeling kind of good and then this all happens. Okay, a new game, a new game. New chances. Start the duel. Uh, thicket, forest, ice storm, factory, strip mine, giant spider, tripe. Okay. It's not the worst. Um, I'm going to go factory. Next turn, forest, animate, factory, attack for two. That's the, that's the plan. Just aggressive. we got to play aggressive. I'm just going to assume that he doesn't have a sword to plow shares. What are the odds? Hey, there we go. Two damage, 25. Next turn, play out of forest. Ice storm land. After that, I could even strip. Take care of another land. Or play giant spider. Like, I've got options. Okay, there's a white knight. Uh, forest. Let's destroy land. It's funny when you play with Giant Spider, you kind of start to like Giant Spider because, I mean, stops Hypnotics, stops White Knights, stops Black Knights. Stops a lot of stuff. Especially the early stages in the game. So hopefully I can find another forest, can play Cockatrice. 
Okay, there's more small stuff. Hey, there's a forest. Perfect. We'll go cockatrice. Um, I think I can attack. Hey, there we go. Dealt some damage. Ooh, dingus egg. I really don't like it when he starts playing dingus eggs. Um, but my life total is high enough, I think. Let's go thicket. I'm just gonna attack with both. I kind of feel the pressure from the dingus egg. Hey, a forest, and now I can play Trike. Trike is so good on this board. One. And one. Oh, wait, and that's it. Maybe should have done two on the, the knight, except for the one of the... Uh, on the Tender Wolves. But hey, I did what I did. Put him on 15. Yeah, that was stupid. Should have dealt two damage to the White Knight or kind of just only deal that one damage to the Lion. Probably should have just attacked first, actually. Um, I can play Gaia's Leech. Why not? It's a cool creature. Oh, let's attack. Oh, he's on nine. Maybe I should stop playing out Lance, by the way, because then if he Armageddon's, I'm going to get a lot of damage, but he's going to kill himself, so... Yeah, Dingus Egg is a really cool card. Okay, there's the Pegasus. Definitely want to kill that. Because it has banding. Uh, okay. Oh man, I double clicked something again. Now I cannot attack with the other stuff. Mm, let's play Lanoir. So on end step, I can now start using my gas leech, which is pretty cool. Just have to remember. Savannah line, okay, fair enough. Healing solve, oh, that's so annoying. Take a forest. Ooh, a desert twist. I need, I should twist that Dingus act, right? Because that's his only road to victory, I think. His first attack. Ooh, we can double block now. I didn't see that coming. Um, That is stupid. Just kill the white knight, it's fine. Uh, Desert to Twister, let's take care of the Dingus Egg. Oh, right on time with the Dingus Egg. Oh no, my Gas Leech is gonna die. Oh no, my Gas Leech! You bastard. I mean, this is taking it one step too far, man. Killing my gas leech. Play out of forest. Fast to turn. Let's go. Let's finish this. Hey. 
Hey, planes. Hey, I freed the people. The keeper's pleased to receive your brother's letter. Uh, any things we want to buy? No, thank you. Any things we want to sell? I think we do. Picked up so much stuff along the way. Blue cards. Black. I can't look at these beautiful black cards. Mm, yeah, red's one of my colors. Okay. Just gonna keep it this way. I guess I need to add some cards to this. Um, did I lose a giant spider? I kind of feel like I lost a giant spider. Maybe add a lure. How many lures do I have in this deck? I have no lures in this deck? That surprises me. How many trikes do I have extra trikes? Nope. Okay. We'll keep it as is. Um, so we're here now. Oh, it's under attack. Okay, so I guess I gotta go there and kind of you know, free the village. I gotta do my thing. Duel the sea dragon. get to start that's good oh that's a really good hand did you see that this is a really good hand trike ice storm soul ring lana elves forest and a forest and a factory so what i can do is go this play lana elves next turn go factory soul ring ice storm and attack for one with the lana -er. It's perfect. Then I can get an early trike out, hopefully, as well. Okay, so we're gonna go factory. Tap for one. We're gonna go ice storm. Kill the island. We're gonna attack, because we have to, but I mean, I wanted to anyway. Pass the turn. I think, by the way, that Siren's Call could be good. Um, hmm. Yeah, now I can deploy Trike really early. Wow, this is like a really good start. There's a tortoise, okay. Forest, uh, let's attack. And pass. I could I could have considered doing maybe Desert Twister on an island, kind of slowing him down. Oh wow, I got lure. This is so funny. We're going to use a lure on a trike to kill the tortoise. A jump! Oh, that's cool. That is that is really good. Um, I'm just going to lose the Lana over here. I love that play. I mean, one of the things I could do now is take the three counters off, kill the tortoise, but I'm not going to do that. Ooh, a creature bond. attack oh I should have animated the factory stupid uh, but now I can kill him one two and three hey I will take the dungeon crew the paths of Kronos okay Green amulets for any sorceries. 
carnivorous plant. Library of Land could be useful somehow. Kind of a interesting deck. I think do these two cards work together? I think Mishra's War Machine, does it work together with Library of Lang? I wonder. Let me know in the comments below. Mishra's uh, War Machine and Library of Lang, do they do they work together the way I think they do? That would be quite cool. Would still be pretty mediocre, but I mean, it would be funny. Uh, where am I? Ooh, we got the White Castle here. You know what? I'm going to go towards the White Castle. Let me just... Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to save here already. Okay. Uh, oh, I can win the second Lord of the Pit. I know I said I'm not going to play black, but I, I, I think I can make an exception, right? If I have like multiple Lord of the Pit. Oh, look at that hand. It's actually not good. Only lands, strip mine, soul ring tranquility. That is rough. Uh, but if I draw into some creatures, we have a whole different story. And I guess I can strip away a land to kind of slow down my opponent. So it's not too bad. Fun fact, the strip mine with a little tower on it is the most expensive one. Ooh, this is cool. You know what? I'm not going to strip anything. I'm going to go for that force of nature as quickly as I can. It's six mana. I've got four. So two more turns. I played a tournament with Vampire Bats not too long ago. And guess what? It went pretty good. I'll show you a deck picture. Yeah, I'll just, I'll edit it in here so you can have a look. Um, next turn, Force of Nature. That's that's my only plan. If he counters that away, oh, that would be so bad. If he's got like Power Sync or Force Spike. Okay, he's playing Zephyr Falcon. That's good. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. Let's go Force of Nature. Let's go do it. The force has landed. Look at your puny army. I'm going to kick his ass. Anyway, there's the attack. Force of nature, yeah. I do like Jumbo's arm. Like that, that sound it makes. It's really cool. Another bog in. Uh, yeah, of course I want to pay the upkeep cost. One, two, three. I should have double clicked it. Four. Of course, another four. All I really have is this one force of nature, tons of forests. Uh, I'm going to go strip. I think I'm just going to strip his only island. Uh, pass. Hmm. Let's have a look. Uh, 11 against 10. Oh, there's a plane. Okay. Doesn't happen often. Uh, let's go forest. Let's attack. I mean, maybe I'm really just going to win it on this one force. Who knows? Uh, let's play Ice Storm on an island. Just going to keep targeting those islands. Pass. I mean, this is a pretty close race. Look at that. I'm on, I'm on five. More, I mean, he's got so many small flyers. It's funny. No, no, no. Pay the upkeep. Good. For a moment there, I think I'm, I, I thought I misclicked. Am I going to win it now? I think I am. Hey, winning the game. Well, the game, but winning the match. 
Another Lord of the Pit. Take the cards. Of course I'm taking the cards. Uh, let's have a look. Crumble's good. Giant Grove's good to have on a... Shall we just buy it just because it's green? Diabolic Machine. I'm going to buy it. It has, it has potential. Um, okay, so I'm looking at the clock. It's almost a full hour of, uh, of play. Uh, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Let me first save it before I forget. Save. And let's just check on the card. Okay, I'm, re I'm really close to the green castle. So please join me again next week because then I'm going to venture into the white castle. Now, if you've enjoyed this episode, as always, please leave a like, comment this uh, in the comments below, share it on your socials. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. And then if you really like the content that I make, because I also do a lot more than just play Chandelar, uh, I make a lot of old school magic content. Uh, then please consider becoming a patron of the show because thanks to the patrons, I can keep doing this and keep making these videos for you guys. So check out patreon.com slash timmytalks for all the information. And the cool thing is if you become a patron of the show, your name will be mentioned in the end scroll at the end of every single video. What end scroll? This end scroll. What shall we do with the donkey? Send it up. What shall we do with the donkey? What shall we do with the donkey? Send up. Zing!